So you guys might remember in the last episode of Raptors Evolved that we bid off a little bit more than we can chew, and this artifact of the cunning was going to be a real challenge to get. Now I have a little bit of a confession to make. This is actually my second time recording this intro, as I've already been back to the Artifact of the Cunning. With a mind wiped character, high oxygen stat, I was prepared to blitz the cave. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys a short clip of how that went. I'm cold in this cave at the moment, but I think once we get to this bit I won't be cold anymore. Okay, I don't know how we've done that, we have lost the Alpha Megalodon. I will now end up probably dying. Oh, is that eels? That's eels. Why have the eels aggroed on me? Oh, we've not aggroed a single eel last episode. Okay, I'm actually pretty confident that I'm easily out swimming these. Oh, rampy. Ah, you silly sausage. You silly, silly sausage. I mean, we're still alive, right? Silver linings and all that. Oh my word. Oh, that's a Moser. Oh. Clearly this artifact is going to need something special. It's going to need something special to do it. You could say an army of aquatic raptors may well be required. So today, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be starting over. We're going to have to be... We're going to do it properly. We're going to breed ourselves an army of oxyraptors just like this one here i'm not thinking we level oxygen too much because i have done some calculations and this has got one level into oxygen i, I don't have not uh, let me go get my awesome spyglass so you guys can see but anyway with our base oxygen stat which is about after imprint i, don't, I think oxygen goes up with imprint let me know for sure in the comments but i think it does oxygen stat so yeah it's 35 points then one point 675 i think it is base oxygen oh, I'll we'll, we'll, we'll check on this one what's the base oxygen 675. This will last about four minutes underwater, which is pretty impressive, really. Like, so if we put in a couple of levels, get it up, basically we get it up to 1,000. Then we can level health and melee. And we're going to bring the water army to life. So without further ado, are you, are you a female? No, they're both males. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Hang on. Let me see if this is a... Where's where's our female? 70 melee F. This hasn't got good stats. Where's our male breeder? Do we have a male breeder with both good stats? We must... I'm, do I have a male? Have I combined them? I must have done. Oh, hang on. This is a male with 70 and 71. Yeah, has it got the good oxygen? It has. Right. Uh, no, what, I'm looking for a female, right? That's what I'm looking for with both the good stats. Yeah, do we have a female with both the good stats? We do. We've got Lilypad right here. Right. So we're going to be basically breeding raptors. Aqua, aqua raptors today. An absolute army of them. Once they're done, we're going to raise them all up. And we're going to go into the water with an army. Because there are about four Mosasaurs at that entrance. There's about two Tusas. And I've tried to sort of kite them away. Which is one option. And m maybe I could still try the kiting strategy. But... It would just require dying over and over again. And that's not the type of content we're all here for on Raptors Evolved, is it? We don't want to see the sacrifices. We want to see Rampy going in, gung-ho, with the, with the Raptor army. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to breed up a ton of Raptors here. We're going to level them through uh, the, the same way that Rampy always levels his dinos, by killing babies. So uh, maybe we'll have a little, a little Rampy montage to start the... Uh, start the episode before we're getting on to today's business so i will see you guys with, uh, at the other end of the montage enjoy
And we're back. And the Oxygen Army, led by the mighty Blue Mohawk, is ready to go. Or the Aqua Army, I should say, as I've chose to name them. Uh, I've, I thought Blue, Blue Mohawk might have been the OG Oxygen Raptor, which died, but uh, maybe he has a twin. Maybe this is the twin of Blue Mohawk. Either way, he is going to be my man of choice. So they are all leveled. Um, all around sort of 12k HP. I mean, this one's got this one's actually really leveled. That's got some good melee on that. And I went to a thousand oxygen on them. Um, so they should all. I mean, I think they should put up a good fight. I, I I'm pretty confident that even with those like level 270 Moses in there, that the the Aqua Raptors can take him down. I'll take take them down. There's like three of them. Yeah, we'll, we'll see we'll see what my confidence is like when we actually get in there. But let's let's see how it goes. Um, but of course, the the elephant in the room right now, uh, as the the phrase goes, is that all these are absolutely battered and need to heal up. So I think it's time that we turn our attention to some more artifacts while these heal up. So I've got my eyes definitely on one artifact, which is the artifact of the Sky Lord, which is found in the snow biome. Um, now, I want to do this anyway, because I want to go to the snow biome. I want to grab some pelt, because we need to make some fur armor. As you can see, I am... Or actually, we need to... I need to mind wipe again as well. Uh, these, are, these were my stats that I had when I tried to swim the cave. And I was like, oh, it's not a problem. And then I realized that... No, do you know what? We were going to need something... We were going to need something big. So let me mind wipe here. Let's go... 400 elf. Straight off the bat. I reckon... Hmm... 120 stamina is probably fine. Um, I'll some, sometimes I like to go 150, but we'll go 150. I'll tell you what, we'll go 150. We'll go 400 weight. Uh, some fortitude. I'm going to put two points in oxy. Maybe I'll do... Yeah, it's two points in oxy. Why not? It's a bit of movement speed. A bit more fortitude. I don't think we need to put any more points in anything else. 24 fortitude. What did I have? 28 fortitude before. Let's go 30. Do you know what? Let's go 30. 420 weight. The rest movement speed. There we go. That will do me nicely. That will do me nicely. So let's let's go leave blue mohawk. Oh, I know what we need to test. I know what we need. To, what level is blue mohawk? Right. I'm going to grab a... So someone said to me in the comments previously, by the way, that... If you want to get the complete pack buff of a, from a raptor, that you need to have five of them. So, I'm, it, can, the comments just confirm that's true, or at least five of them. But I, I'm going to take their word for it. So, which one's the alpha? The 346 one is the alpha, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, there we go. Right, so let, let's get in the water here. And the question is... <laughs> What I'm going to test is, can we give the pack buff underwater? No. No, we can't. Okay. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. So we are, we will be going in without pack. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I've got the pack. Oh, no. Pack leader. Okay. Pack mate. Pack mate. Pack leader. Pack lead. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yes, but... And then... What's the buff again? Is it C for the buff? I'm sure it was C for the buff. Am I actually, or am I not on the pack leader? No, I am. I'm confused. Okay, now now I've. All right, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I should have given it out there. Maybe it did work underwater. I don't know. I'm mega confused what's happened right now, but let's let's go in. It's probably, I'm probably not the alpha anymore. That's probably why. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Getting that pack buff, I know, will be quite important. So, especially in the bosses, we do have to work that out. But at the moment, I was kind of expecting to go into the water with uh, without it anyway. Let's get a bit of meat. And we're going to go cook some meat up in this campfire and then we're going to set off towards the snow biome so i think while i cook this meat up uh oh i do have a hatchet on there as well lovely well I i'm going to cook this meat up and then i'm going to see you guys when i'm back on the raft going towards the snow biome we're going to bring my queen and we're going to come back with the artifact of the sky lord and then hopefully these raptors may be good to go so i will see you guys 
very shortly. And we are back. Uh, we didn't end up actually making the fair armor in the end, and I'm going to try and keep this as brief as possible because I'm losing health. Uh, but the long short of it is that um, I didn't want to raft... Oh, I've got to unlock sleeping bag again because we mind worked. Um, I didn't want to raft all the way over to the snow biome. Not today. So we've gone in with flak and with the two torches strategy, which is a torch on the raptor and a torch for me. Um, I don't know. We're going to just get in this cave and see how this goes. It looks like it might be cooler. There's in that like, warmer, sorry, in the cave. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay. Right, we've got sleeping bags. I'm going to put them in my hot bar. I think it's important that we place one down here. Right by the end. Oh, let's gamma up for you guys. Gamma 3.5 should be okay. Um, sleeping bag there. And let's keep the next one for now. Okay, are we... Oh, it's really cold in here. That's not good. Okay. Okay, all right. We're going to need lightning. We're going to need lightning. Oh, it's also because I haven't got my torches out. That's the problem. Ah! There's a bat in the mesh! Mesh bat! Come here, mesh bat. Let's get him lightning. Oh, oh. Whoa, it keeps the torch there? That's really cool, though. I have to say. The fact that the torch stays is really cool. Now, we've got to be pretty careful when we're coming in here. Because, first of all, we've got to... <sighs> what time of day is it? It's nine. So, it will get warmer. I'm trying to look at it. I can't afford to keep taking... It's really strange the way these, te these temperatures seem to keep... It, it's, actually, it's depending, it must be depending on the torches. How close we are to torches. Okay. We're going to cryo up. We're gonna if we can get this artifact without dying, it'll be an honest, honestly be an absolute miracle. Right, there we go. Get our torch back out again. Uh, I think it's it's not that way. That's a death pit down there. Um, and I'm gonna need to recry it. All right, we're gonna need more sleep. We're gonna need sleeping back. Oh, look at how how fast my health is plummeting. How are we going to do... Okay, I made a big mistake coming here without... Uh, without fur armor. A big mistake. Right, I'm going to grab Raptor. Pop him out. Pop him in the... I'm, I know I'm going to die here. But we're going to have to quickly make our way through this cave. I need to make more bags as well. Can I make another sleeping bag before I die? Or have I just wasted all my hide and fiber? Uh oh. To race against the clock. The bag. Okay, the bag finished first. The bag finished first. That's good. All right, I made a big mistake coming here. I made a. I really underestimate. How cold is it in here? Minus twelve. Okay. You can tell that I'm used to playing with 150 fortitude on my scorched earth. No damage. I'm currently streaming on Twitch, so. Uh, Come watch those over on Twitch. Right, we got to quickly spawn in, grab the bag as soon as possible, put the armor back on. Actually, maybe I should make a oh, hide armor set. I don't have the fiber. Okay. Um. Oh, I've thrown it out too early, haven't I? Right, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. Rampy. McQueen. McQueen, please. Oh, this game is incredible. Absolutely incredible game. I love it. I really love this game. What is going on? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. This is just depressing, man. I'm not even dying quickly, that's the thing. Right, armor off. Not really making much of a difference, I have to say. I think the artifact's not... is pretty easy to get, though. I really do think we can get it quite... right. 
Actually, I, I, I think I remember. I, I believe we could do this still. You might think I'm mad, but I genuinely think we could still do this and get out alive. A man, a sleeping bag, and a dream. And a meshed man into the roof. All right, we're about to die. Quick, quick respawn. Grab the stuff. Sleeping bag. Which one are we going to spawn out? I'm hoping we're going to spawn at the one with the raptor. It is the one with the raptor. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Right. Uh... I'm off. I'm off. Not that way. I'm not going that way. That would have been silly. This way, though. So, oh, I need to get McQueen. We can get McQueen. We can get rid of those um, two Onyx there. I think that's the path to the artifact right there. That is the artifact. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's, it's all gone wrong. Oh, run away. Run away. I need to get some more fiber. Okay. It didn't really quite go to plan this. Didn't go to plan at all. It's alright. Not a problem. We just got to go pick some more fiber. Um, so I can make some more sleeping bags. It's not a problem. It is a problem, but it's fine. Okay. Right. Bags retrieved. Or fiber retrieved. So we'll stay in here and make some bags. Goodness me. What a mess. What an up. It's also really now bright, isn't it? Just do gamma. Alright. It's fine. It's all under control. All under control. Right, get the stuff. Put the armor on. Uh, oh, we need to make some more bags. Oh, we go outside for this, don't we? So we're not freezing. I think if we get to here, we shouldn't be freezing. Is that right? Yeah, here, we're not freezing. And also, there seems to be a bat in the wall. Or in the mesh. Ah! Seems there are... Quite a few bats in the mesh. $60 game, by the way. <laughs> oh, I do love this game, but... Uh, it, it has its issues. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Alright. Not this way. It's this way. I don't know why. I didn't just mean to drink. That's a 130. Right, should we see if McQueen... Ah! McQueen! Okay, is that all the bats sorted? Oh! Okay, this that might be good. That might be good. Oh, not again. I'm just trying to get off my raptor. Can I just do that in, in peace, please? Right. I'm a free few. Okay. What have we got here? Crossbow. Uh -oh. Run. Run. <laughs> okay. We got a couple more uh, more bats to deal with first. Oh, let me pause again. That's okay. It's all okay. I think there's going to be a couple of cuts in this video. Because otherwise you're just going to be watching me dying and over and over for 10 minutes. And that's not good. That's not good content. Hello, Mr. Bat. Sorry, I'm having trouble connecting. Internet. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I spawned at the wrong place. I spawned at the wrong place. I've somehow just grabbed the artifact. Why are these bats not aggroing on me? Run! Oh, hello, Mr. Bat. Hello. Oh, oh, um, we're going. I, I've no idea what's just happened and why those bats haven't aggroed. Okay, that one has. I'm a... We're alive. We're alive. What an escape. That was actually really impressive. <laughs> right, okay. Well, there we go. And uh, now with our non-coloured Lightning McQueen, it looks it looks so naked. It's, 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 it's time to head home. Uh, I actually am going to grab a bit of organic polymer on the way home, as I do need some. Uh, because if we want to do the swamp cave, we're going to need... Leave me alone, Direwolves. Leave me alone. We're going to need some a full set of scuba to survive in that cave. I think we can do it with a full set of scuba and one set of ghillie. I believe you can survive in that cave. Just got to avoid the alpha pleuras. So that's the plan for that cave. Uh, so I'm going to use a Hesperornis to get it though. So I don't have to go to the... I saw some, there's some Hesperornises around alpha corner area. So I'm going to grab the polymer from there. Uh, head off back to base. Make the scuba. And then perhaps I'll see you all back at the swamp cave. It's going to be a long episode this. But uh, I think it'll be worth it. And I hope you guys... If you are enjoying the video, please smash the like button. And... Uh, Comment, uh, I love Raptors Evolved in the comments below. So I know you've made it this far. All right. I will see you guys back on... Uh, oh, hang on. Never mind. Polymer. Don't even need to kill Hesperonuses. I can show you guys getting the polymer. There we go. Brilliant stuff. All right. I'm going to see you guys back on Herbivore Island. We're going to make some, some Gilly and some Scuba and then head over towards the Swamp Cave. And back we are. It's the evening. We're back on Herbivore Island. And it's time to make ourselves a scuba mask and a pair of scuba leggings. I think, see if we can make two of them. Because I believe then I can have two of the flippers. And then what do I need? Is it gauntlets I need? Yeah, ghillie gauntlets I think is what we need. So let's unlock ghillie. I do have like a blueprint I think for them. But not ghillie gauntlets. Two pairs of these, is it? Uh, it's always good to have backups for this kit. Oh, you're joking me. I'm out of organic polymer. It might be that you can use three, pa three of scuba and two ghillie. All right. Let's just go with that. Um, McQueen has got... I did have scuba, right? Oh, yeah. So I've got two tanks. I must have more flippers. I must have another pair of scuba flippers. I'm sure I do. Or maybe they all died on my body in the hard cave, actually. Which we are still going to close the episode with. Don't forget, we will be back for that cave. Um, but I think I need to put this Skylord artifact away. Just in case anything goes wrong in the swamp cave. I, I don't know. We wouldn't, we wouldn't like to think it would. I need to give Lightning McQueen a new paint job as well. Uh, or Sorry, give, give him his paint job back. I did see a couple of comments, by the way, about the paint job and uh, why it's not working. And I think I can change it if I go into the settings. So I will have a look into that. Um, I'm, I'm a bit confused because I personally, I'm sure I could remember... Um, that the whole purpose of using Dino Storage mod was I was told that with it, you know, it, it just keeps paint jobs automatically. Um, but, but I guess I was wrong. I guess I was misinformed on that one. So anyway, moving on forwards, I'm going to put the Skylord artifact away and then I'm going to cryo up. Oh, do we need to make some Raptor saddles first? The army that we currently have. So that is, of course, the Raptors, which have already been named. So we have Splix Black over here. It's got some decent stats. Some decent stats. I'm going to take that hide, actually. Might need that. Um, Lucas Kavak. So he's got some good stats. And a Talisman here. Take that metal, because why not? All right, I'm going to cry these raptors up, because we're going to bring a pack into the swamp cave to help me deal with all the nasty things in there. Uh, let me see if we can pull the result. Oh, I need to un unlock raptor saddle. I hate my white tonics. I need... Sh should I... Uh, incorporate a auto engram mod, guys. What do you think? Or should I? Uh, obviously not for tech. It wouldn't be for tech. It would just. I don't know how they. I don't know how those mods work. But I know I've played on servers where you have them before. Uh, fiber and wood. All right. Let's go and make it. Actually, maybe we can just. 
Right, I'm just going to borrow your saddle, 71 melee male. I promise it will maybe be returned at some stage. All right, let me take Splix Black. Um, all right, so that's... Oh, and Lilypad is the last raptor. Do we have another saddle I can steal? Oh, the Oxyraptor backup. Always rely on the Oxyraptor to have a saddle on. And, oh, this one, ooh. Lilypad's not very well leveled, but it will heal in the Soul Ball. The great thing about Soul Balls is it will continue to heal even when I'm riding over there on Lightning McQueen. Yes, all right, Lightning, I get it. I'm a bit too fat for you. All right, let me put this away. Uh, I'm going to get that, put that metal in the forges as well, so we have some going. Because uh, we are pretty much out of metal ingots. And in one, an episode coming up soon, we're going to be making a greenhouse. But like, I don't want to make a normal greenhouse. We want to make a greenhouse, fill it with like raptors, raptor, taxidermies. We're, we're going to make a neat a neat little greenhouse, guys. I'm, I'm determined to... I, like I said before in episodes, I'm not the best builder. But I do want to put in an effort on this series and make something that... What are you doing? Get out! With raptors only, my friend. Oh. Oh, I've been absolutely mugged off. Oh, that Pteranodon has made me look like a right fool. Oh, yes, there we go. We're back over. We're back over. Okay. So I think we have everything we need for a little swamp cave. Oh, well, we definitely need some fibre. And a bit of hide, don't we? Where did I just put all the hide? We definitely have hide. All right, I can, I can get some over on the way on McQueen. So, all right, I'm going to see you guys back at the Swamp Cave. And we're going to try our hand at getting our... Is this? I think this is... With, after, if we're assuming we get this artifact, which is the artifact of the immune, we will only have two more artifacts to go, which is, of course, the, the Hard Water Cave, which is what this army... How are you all doing? 4.8, 5.2. I thought you'd be more healed by now. There's a chance we're going to be going into this cave, guys. The raptor's not fully healed. Or, we can ju or we'll just have to wait it out. But I'm trying to be productive while they heal up. I'm trying to be productive while they heal up. Alright. Aqua Raptor 6. You have an extra level. It's going straight in melee. Alright. So I will see you guys very shortly when we are over at the Swamp Cave. And we're back. McQueen is here in all his glory, looking very sharp, if I say so myself, with his nice fresh paint job. Uh, what do you want, Compy? See you later. Right, we're going to make some sleeping bags here and place them down outside. I didn't make them before because sleeping bags are heavy. And uh, it's been very heavy to get over here with McQueen. We did also have a little bit of an incident with a file of Kaleo, but luckily Lightning was on hand to save me from the menace himself. Right, let me just uh, kill that Compy as well. Uh, place these bags down literally just outside of here. And then... We're going to go into the cave. Oh, hang on. I'm going to stop crafting that one. We don't need another one for now. Uh, so, let me put my... What am I going to put on? My, my ghillie... Flippers... Tank... And mask. Let's do some... We'll do some testing for... What we can survive in here with. So we shouldn't be taking damage at the moment, I believe. I, I know there's a point in the cave you start taking damage. and It's like here, I think. Yeah, okay, no damage. Definitely no damage. Let's try with leggings. Is it two Gilliam free scuba? I think it might be. Alternatively, full scuba will work. But uh, Gilly has better Jura. So you're better off using uh, Gilly if you possibly can. Well, I say that. Never mind. No, it doesn't. That's the same Jura. Well, Gilly's a bit cheaper and a bit easier to make, isn't it? Okay. So what is it best to play with? Let's, 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 yeah, let's go with the two Gilly to start with. Let's go with the two Gilly to start. Um, And where am I going to throw my raptors at? Okay, we're going to throw a raptor out here. Yep, there we go. And I'm going to gamma free fuel. And then we're going to throw the rest of the raptors out. I'm going to... Tell Lilypad to absolutely get in there and start wrecking stuff up. Go on, Splix Black. All of you get in there. Oh, I think only one of them's on... Tear it up, boys. Tear it up. The Alpha Plorers. Focus the Alphos. 
Alright. Seems to be going fine so far. Those Afros do have a quite a bit of health, though. Are you over-encumbered? You are. Alright. Right, we're going to need to deal with all these and then turn off harvesting. That's fine, we can do that. It will mean getting off the raptor, which is never ideal. Right, get you all to follow me. Okay. Um, harvest settings, disable resource harvesting, and copy settings to nearby raptors. Right, good stuff. Right, thank you. You can have a little bit of meat. Oh. Oh, no, Lily Pad was already a bit beaten up, wasn't she? Wasn't she? Okay. If anyone's raptor dies in this episode, I apologize. That, 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 that's, that's, that's what I'll say on that matter. Uh, grab a bit of meat from you as well. Put a little bit back on you. And you. All right. I think we're good to continue. Come on, raptor army. Hang on, am I, am I on the alpha? Or who? which one's the alpha? 339, 337. This is 319, so it should be Splix Black the Alpha? Yeah, Splix Black is the Alpha. Okay. There we go. We've got Pack Buff now. Okay. Good stuff. Let's go, Raptors. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, we're trouble. Trouble. Yeah, this is what I mean, guys. Those are for Plorers. Not to be messed with. Am I still going to be taking damage now? I have four sets of scuba on. I think we're okay. Alright. Well, we lost... We lost some armor a lot earlier than I was hoping to then. We could be in trouble now. Uh, you don't get organic polymer, do you, from from harvesting snails? No. If you did, it would be a lot easier because I could repair my gilly, but I don't think I, I don't think you do. All right. Into the next room. Get him, raptors. Hang on, we lost a raptor. We've lost a raptor somewhere. No, we haven't. We got we got them all. We got them all. Alright. It's just the Afros that I'm afraid of, really. The bugs are great XP, but none of these raptors really need XP. Although it is really good for leveling them, actually. If I ever wanted to level a pack of raptors, bringing them in here might not be a bad idea. Alright. I think this is the way to a drop, actually. I don't think this is the way to the artifact, but... Let's have a look what's up here. Maybe there's a nice drop up here for us. The Swamp Cave can have some great loot crates in them, and it can have some awful ones. Oh! Hey, I mean... It's not amazing, but... A Mastercraft Long Night Rifle BP? I mean, let's... Let's see what damage it is. 243. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Not great, but it's not bad. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Right, let's get the raptors all following me. Then let's go. Come on, raptors. Oh, alpha plora. Oh, no. Get me out of that. Kill the alpha plora. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we care about. Killing the alpha plora's. Right, is there a drop in this room as well? There is. There's a red drop in this room. Very nice. Let's have a look what's in it. What's, what's that? What's in there? Alpha Plora Saddle and a, a Basilo BP. Yeah, this, these cave drops can be pretty great, but problem is that's absolutely no use whatsoever to me, is it? That is the problem. There's no, I, I want to get it now because I'm curious what the armors are and if they're good BPs because I'm just like that. I like getting blueprints. I like hoarding blueprints. But I definitely shouldn't hop off here. Well, I definitely want to. And I probably am going to. Hey, oh, that's an incredible Basilisk saddle. Jesus Christ. I do play with Supply Drop 2.0 quality on, by the way. 
So drops are buffed slightly. Um, but honestly, like, drops in Arc Ascended need to be buffed massively anyway. I saw someone comment that on my video the other day, actually. Because I asked what you guys' thoughts were on the new design, and people said, I don't, don't really care about the new design, but I just want them to actually have some use. And I completely agree. Like, drops in Arc should... Oh, look at that Megalania. Drops in Arc should be of some use. Right. The artifact's up... No, it's not even up that way, is it? Didn't really need to do that. What are you stuck on? I just sent one of my raptors in to die. Boys, help him. Thank you. There, there's the pack buff. Oh, you can see the damage goes up straight away. Alright, this way, guys. This way. The artifact's this way. So... I don't think we're going to... This is the type of cave where we're going to get a raptor blueprint in, really. Um, yeah, it's just not really... That's not the type of loot you get in this cave. It's more likely to get, like, wreck saddles. I mean, you could get a shotgun blueprint in here. That would be nice. Um, but, yeah, this cave is pretty good to run for loot crates. And I imagine lots of people are going to be running the cave at the start of Arc Ascended because, obviously, no one will have blueprints. Oh, we actually can fit raptors through here. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Nice. Right. Artifact of the immune. Whoa, Spicks Black. What are you doing, mate? There we go. All right. Let's bring the raptor raptors down. Right, where are the raptors? Raptors, hello. Have we lost a raptor? No raptor left behind. Where are they? Okay, where, where have we actually lost the raptors? We've definitely lost a raptor and I'm confused where. Oh no, there they are. They're all here. Lily pad's just getting stuck. Alright, not a problem. Alright, it's Blix Black. Some more levels. This cave is really good for levels, actually. This cave is exceptional for levels. Oh, explore a note as well. That would have been even better. I'm um, going to go one more. I think for the boss raptors, like 15,000 health and then the rest... Well, I'd like to go 20,000. But we're not going to be able to get up there. For the, We're going to need 15,000. It's going to be the bare minimum. I do worry for the overseer. I have to say. Just because I'll see in the Overseer fight, you have to fight three of the bosses at once. Not at once, you have to fight all the bosses again. And then, of course, the drones and the giggers in the tech in the cave in the first place and everything like that. So we're gonna have to work on that. But yeah, let me know about the if we should use pheromone darts of the cave. I saw someone suggest it before. Uh, and well see the UTs were the big issue when we did this 100 days previously. So let's see if um Pheromone darts could be an option. Do you, can you, how much, what do they take to craft? Pheromone dart. Anami, metal ingots, and tranquilizer dart. Okay. That could be an option. Maybe we make one of these Mastercraft long necks. Uh, that metal puts me off a little bit, but we'll see. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. We've lost a raptor again. Right. Who's the special one? Who is it? Right, lily pad. Come on. You managed to get left behind. Not again. Let's go, Raptors. Out of here. Right, I believe now with the artifact of the immune collected, we're going to cryo these Raptors once we get out of the cave and head back to Herbie, where we might have to kill a little bit of time while we wait for the rest of the army, to the aquatic army, to heal up. Uh, but once that is done, it's time for the, uh, the ending that I imagine most of you have been waiting for for this episode. It's time to see how an army of underwater raptors does against an army of underwater creatures. Let's find out, shall we? I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so it's been a couple of in-game days now, and the squad are ready to go. Is Rampy ready to go? Absolutely not. But I'm, I'm willing to give it a go. Uh, I'm feeling a bit apprehensive, mainly because I've put quite a few hours into breeding this aqua raptor army here. And, um, how confident I am in uh, the abilities 
Yeah. Oh, but we won't say anymore. Let's just see how it goes. So I'm going to soul all these boys and girls up. And then we're going to head over to the cave. I'm already thinking, where on earth should I throw, actually start throwing these raptors out? Because the deeper into the cave, the better, really. But I know I'll probably end up aggroing some eels or something if I'm not, if I'm not careful. Um, so I'm going to have to be very careful. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let me cry out that one. All right, so I'm going to cry out these up. Then we're going to head over to the cave with Lightning McQueen. Of course, Lightning is not coming down there. We would we would not like anything to happen to Lightning. Uh, oh, Blue, Blue Mohawk's going to be the one I ride, isn't it? So, no, hang on. Yes, we still want to cry a Blue Mohawk. But we want to put Blue, Blue Mohawk in my, uh, in, in, in my toolbar. So there's Blue Mohawk. And... How do I separate these? Is there... Oh, split split all, right? Okay, there we go. Alright. That's all the raptors cryoed. Where's lightning? Don't tell me you cried lightning. Rampy. Don't. I cried lightning. I cried lightning. It's been a long day. Right, I'm going to repaint Lightning McQueen and I'll see you guys when we're back over... <laughs> At the entrance of the cave. Okay, so back we are. Um, do I have a spare set? Of no, I don't have a spare set of slippers. Right. Well, I guess we're just going in. We're risking everything. <laughs> we're going in. All right. We're going to need some big players to pull this off, guys. We're going to need some big players to pull this off. Let's see how it goes. Right, where is Blue Mohawk? Who's obviously going to be in my hotbar. I need to... Actually, I'm going to put the raptors all in my hotbar. Because we need to throw these out ASAP. When we get down there. Oh, boy. Okay. See you later, McQueen. I'll see you on the other side. Let's do this. I'm going to... Oh, I need to put my... Why have I not got my awesome spyglass on? There we go. So, from my death... My last death in this cave, I managed to aggro the eels near the entrance, which has made my life a little bit more difficult, to be honest. Um, so I've got to go through here, see if I can not aggro the eels, if I didn't bring a chair either. Well, luckily I've got the raptor for that. Luckily I have the raptor for that. All right, we keep on going. I'm wary that any minute now there could be eels. I should have bought a chair, because if you don't know, the chair re helps you regain your stamina underwater, but it shouldn't be a problem, because I'm probably going to be jumping on Blue Mohawk at, like, the f earliest. All right, well, the Megalodons aren't really an issue. We can swim past them. Unless we literally try it. Like, I'm, I'm going to aggro them. Where's the eels? It's them that are the issue. Not even aggroed the Megalodons yet, actually. If I stick to this left corner, I might be able to avoid aggroing the eels and the megalodons. I've aggroed an angler. But I have not aggroed the eels. Alright, Rampy. Come on, you got to play a blinder here. So far, we've played this well. So far, we have. That could quickly change. Alright. Megalodons are here. There's the eel. We've got to get on Blue Mohawk. Let's go, Blue Mohawk. we got to go. we got to go. we got to go. Oh, this is a mess. Come on, Aqua. Attack them. Attack raptors. Why aren't they attacking? Oh, it's not looking good. 
Go on, Raptors. I'm trying to get them all out. I'm trying to get them all out. Eight. Throw them. Nine. All right. Oh, it's not. It's really not good. Let me put my soul away. Right. Come on. Come on, Raptor Army. Oh, that pack buff is just ridiculous. This was an awful, awful idea. These Megalodons are way too high level. Even with all the Aqua Raptors in the world. Look at how bloody they all are, man. Look how bloody mine is. Where's the Moses gone? All right, well I've well I've gone for it. Oh, there's the two so's and the Moses. Well, the Aqua Raptor army guys, rest in peace. Rest in peace, the Aqua Raptor army. I'm going to try and grab all these hostiles over here and actually kite them to the other end of the cave. That's what we like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. This way. Have I grabbed the Tuso? Oh, I haven't grabbed the Tuso, I go, I don't think. But I've grabbed the Moses and the Eels. There's the Tuso. Ow. Well... We just lost pretty much everything, really. I'm going to have to go away and rebuild once more. We'll be back. We'll be back for the artifact. I'll see you guys shortly. Okay. We're back. And uh, I'd say I'm throwing the kitchen sink at it, but I, I feel like I did just throw the kitchen sink at it and I, I lost spectacularly. Uh, I spent a lot of time breeding up that water army investment and I, I my main worry was oh we killed the Moses and to be honest I just seriously underestimated the strength of Megalodon's impacts that's my own fault stupid so then, so here I am a man a scuba tank some scuba flippers and an awesome spyglass and I have a dream let's uh, let's let's see how it goes we've got I've got ten sets oh well eleven if you include the one I'm wearing. And I've just got to try and kite everything. First of all, away from the ent entrance to the waterhole. If I do that, I've then got to try and kite everything out of the waterhole. I should have really mind wiped. We might have to go back half. Let's see how this first attempt goes. I'll probably cut cut back to you guys so you don't have to, you know, cut around a bit. So you don't have to watch me die over and over. Um, because I probably need a bit more... What's my, I didn't, bring even, didn't, didn't even bring a chair. Didn't even bring a share. Right, well, let's try this first attempt. See how far we get with our current stamina. And um, when it probably eventually, of course, will will all go wrong. Uh, we'll have to cut back, come back with some chairs, and maybe I'll mind wipe as well. Because this is... Uh, this is not going to end well. We will get this artifact into, the, into today's episode. I don't care how long it takes. I will be there no matter what. All right, let's see how this attempt goes. Megalodons are aggroed. Stay away from the eels. Doesn't really matter if the anglers I grow. Have the eels I growed. No, away from the okay. No eels. There's an eel. That that eel's probably gonna aggro. I've literally got to kite the entire area of the cave. Yep, yeah, that eel's gonna be an issue. And that's probably me dead. I might somehow survive this. Okay, I've somehow survived an eel because no, there was nothing else nearby. That was quite impressive. 
Okay, well, this might not be a completely wasted trip if I can manage to kite some of the things away from the water hole. Even if it's just like these donkeys. We'll take that. And there's megalodons. Yeah. There's plesios. Yeah, all of you this way. Okay. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I can outrun a plesio. Looks like I can maybe just... Oh, there's the Moses. Looks like I can just about outrun a plesio. Oh, this way, Moses. Don't turn around on me. Okay. This is quite good, actually. Actually, I probably made it worse now for the Moses, honestly. Oh, no, both Moses are coming. That's good. So, Tuso at the end of 195 Tuso. They call this cave hard cave for a reason. Alright, that was actually... That was a decent... That was decent. That actually went kind of well. We got kited away a fair bit of the stuff from... The water pit. Uh, the main the main worry I have is that Alpha Megalodon down there, by the way. I don't know how we're going to deal with that Alpha Megalodon. We'll, we'll have to figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm actually going to return to base. Mind wipe. Bring some chairs. And we'll go again. Okay, so we're back. I'm a mind wipe tonic down. And I'm suddenly feeling a lot more confident. That is because whatever I did at the start of this episode where I mind wiped, I clearly did it wrong. I don't know if I should have leveled movement speed as well as oxygen, but I'm now pretty rapid in the water. Um, and I'm pretty confident that I could probably outswim most creatures at this point. I've got a chair with me as well. I've got an awesome spyglass, but... And I'm not saying we're not going to die. I think we're most likely going to die multiple times. But I am feeling a lot more confident now. So let's see how this goes. I'm not even going to try and, like, not aggro... The, well, no, actually, I will tr try and not aggro the eels, because that would be stupid. But I'm just going to swim in. Like, we are absolutely rapid at this point. No megalodon scares me. Probably should have got some stamina at the entrance. Oh, wow, that's jellyfish. A lot of sharks. A lot of sharks. I need to make sure I probably unaggro them before I go down this... Mosh pit here. Oh, I'm making life harder for myself here, aren't I? I'm certain I'm making life a lot harder for myself. Okay. Oh! Ah, okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We go again. We go again. Respawn on the beach. Oh, I've only got one more sleeping bag left. I've got one more. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make sleeping bags after this one. All right. I make. I've got one more respawn, and we can go again. I've just got to be. Oh, hang on. Awesome spyglass and a chair. Stop rushing myself. We'll, we'll get this artifact. I'm confident. It probably would have been easier than spending all this time breeding in the aquatic army of raptors. It's the rampy way. Rampy heritage, that's what that is. Alright. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, use the chair to regain stamina, and then go back into that mosh pit of dinos, and hopefully avoid getting hit by a megalodon. I didn't level any health, by the way. I only have one iron, which is probably one reason why I'm so squishy. So, like, any hit and I'm dead. But that's fine. Like, I'm... I would probably die anyway. I'm not meant to be tanking hits when I'm just going in with Prim Scuba. Right, let's go. Let's go again. I want to try one more attempt at this. And we, and then if, if this one doesn't work, then we will try kiting the entire sort of fleet, so to speak, away from that waterhole. There's just so many creatures in this cave. It's actually crazy how many creatures are in this cave. Stay away from those megalodons. Megalodon's aggro range is just crazy. And I'm guessing it's because of the pack bonus. That if one megalodon aggros and they're all part of the same pack, they all aggro. Yeah, look. Th these, ones were, these ones were swimming for me out of the hole. Before I'd even reached it. That's just that's just crazy. Right, so here, here was the hole. Yeah, there's those megalodons. Let's see if we can get them out of there, honestly. Yeah, I think this is for the best. Let's let's play this sensibly for once. 
I think sensible is is a good way. Please, yours is an eel there. Need to watch that. Oh, what are you doing, Plesios? Why are you swimming away? No, follow me. Don't run away. Oh, that was... So... I was just trying to do the sensible play there. And it didn't go well. All right, we'll be, we'll be back. I'm going to make some more bags. Oh, maybe I should make a bed. No, we'll just make mountains of bags. And, uh, and then I'll be back once we're back in the cave. Oh, hang on. I've got, I've got, I do have a storage box over here. That's good. All right, I'm going to see you guys back in the cave uh, once we're uh, making some making some plays. Right, entering the cave again. I believe the strategy this time... I think we maybe just go for the water hole. I think we just go for the hole. The best case, I can grab the artifact. We'll probably die in the process of doing it. But perhaps we can... Get it towards the entrance. And then we basically got to gradually get it there. That's the plan. That's the plan. There's Megalodons. There's that massive horde of them over there. Look how many Megalodons there are. That is just a ridiculous amount. Problem is, I know there's an Alpha Megalodon here. I don't know whether I can outrun that thing. I just swear that was nowhere near me. That's not good. That's not ideal. Hi, Megalodon. Goodbye, Megalodon. There's the Alpha. There's the Eel. Yeah, we're so dead, aren't we? So dead. All right, come here, Megalodons. It's time to finally bring you all away for good. Put you all in the dot. The problem is the eels are so much quicker than the Megalodons. That's it's the real problem here because the I'm, I'm trying to make sure I maintain the aggro of the Megalodons. Which is really difficult to do because these eels are just so much quicker that I'm gradually getting further and further away from the megalodons. I'm, not, I'm basically going to have to do a loop round, make sure I can maintain the aggro of all of them. Which I seem to have done, to be fair. Bring them all this way. Actually, we might be able to bring them all this way. Get on land and go back round. These Moses are going to be an issue, though. Yep. Yeah. We're a goner, aren't we? We're an absolute goner. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That was that. Was, that was all right. That was okay. Right now we got to sack. Well, now we have to do that again. Now we have to do that again, and we've got to get those creatures out of the entrance to the tunnel. And then maybe, maybe we have a chance. We go again. We still believe, we still believe. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. The artifact's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. The artifact's coming home. We still believe, we still believe, we still believe. Right. Where are they? I need to grab them. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Hello. This way, please. Oh. Jesus Christ. This is going to be a slow process. Are those really piranhas? Piranhas! As if this cave couldn't get any more mean. And they're now adding pir their piranha spawns in. I didn't even know they had piranhas in here. 
Oh, please, yeah. That's a donkey. Donkeys just don't aggro. They're great. I love, I love a donkey. All right, there's the Alpha Megalodon. So I reckon we bring these Megalodons and Plesios. We've got to probably bring them to the same place as we brought it for now, haven't we, I reckon? It sucks because I have to keep going back around to make sure I've got everything... Make sure I've definitely got everything aggroed. And I do, and now I've got to loop everything back around into this corner, avoiding all these eels. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's good, right, finish me off, Moses. Okay. Now the alpha's out of that chamber. I'm going to actually have a little stab at getting the artifact. Right, where's the eels? There's the piranhas. Hello, megalodons. Hello, eels. Nice to see you. Yeah, you're coming this way. Thank you very much. Yeah, this way, eels. That's the one. That's the one. You stay over here. Let's not aggro the two, so that would be a great shame. Right. Let's see if we can ditch him. And then head back into the hall. Oh! Oh, I hate not having awesome spyglass. I just got jump scared by a Loch Ness monster. You get way too comfortable playing with awesome spyglass when you play with it on this game. Hi, Megalodons. Nice to see you. Yep. Lots of jellyfish. How many eels do we have left? Where are all the eels? Eels? Hello? Did I get all the eels? Fresh artifact? I don't even know where my body is. But I may as well just get a fresh artifact, right? Oh, no. No way. Is this the moment? Oh! How am I alive? How have I just survived an eel? And also, where did that eel come from? Oh. oh, have we done it? I think we've done it. Oh, eels! I think we've done it. Uh-oh, I'm freezing. Oh, I mean, just getting the artifact to here now. That's a W. It's out of that, that tight little cavern. Oh, my word. I mean, props props to the Ark developers, honestly. Because I honestly love that cave. I love this cave design. And uh, by the way, now I'm broken bones because I'm 100 health. Do you know what's funny? I think I'm still swimming about as good as I would without, without my health stat. I'm still swimming ridiculously fast considering this is broken bones. <laughs> that's actually crazy. Um... Props to the Ark developers for actually making this cave. I think it's an incredible... I think the water caves on the island are so good. I think they're so well designed. And I hope we see so many more in Ark 2. Who knows, maybe even some new water caves in Ark Ascended. Um, but it's difficult, that cave. That cave is seriously difficult. Okay. That's fine. I can die here. I can die here a happy man. Just kill me now. I'll come back and get the body. With the artifact on. Oh, I've got a mind wipe on my raptor. Literally on the beach. We're fine. On mind wipe. Oh, I'm going to level fortitude more like I would normally. Oh, we've done it. Alright, that might be good now. Um, first of all, it's, I've got I've got like 200 health back again. So I'm pretty sure I'll be good now to go and grab my body. And then we can finally say that we've done the artifact of the cunning. Next up. It's not going to get any easier. Because we've got the Snow North Cave, the ice cave on the island, filled with Palovias, level 400 polar bears. It's going to be a blast. And I think it might be time to start next episode, though, by breeding the boss raptors. So, I hope you all guys have all enjoyed today's episode. It's been one hell of a ride. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys on Sunday for the next iteration of Raptors Evolved. Take care, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.